Hey guys, Yarek here. Today we will talk about the most iconic and famous insect inclusion in Ember, the mosquito. That annoying, blood-sucking, flying insect which buzzing drives us insane. It's the most misidentified inclusion in Ember, and I will tell you why the 99.99% .99 of mosquitoes that are found in Ember in reality are not mosquitoes. But before that, first let's see how did it became so iconic, which could be part of the reason why it's so often misidentified. Do you remember the movie from the 1993 called The Jurassic Park? That single movie was the first spark for me and many other kids to get interested in prehistoric life, fossils and obviously Ember. And because of that movie, many people know about Ember in the first place. And the piece of ember which was featured there contained inside what? Yep, the now iconic mosquito, which led to the rebirth of the dinosaurs after some movie science thingies. Funniest part that the insect used in the doctor's ember cane is a real mosquito called Toxorhiniches rutilus, or elephant mosquito. And this is the only type of mosquitoes that doesn't feed on blood, they hunt other mosquitoes. But that's not the point of the video. It's not a fact, but I believe that when people think of ember, they also think about the mosquito which was embedded inside. The mosquito, in Latin Culicidae culex, belongs to the order of insect called Culicomorpha, which contains two superfamilies called Culicoidea and Hieronomoidea, which themselves contains four families of insect each that contains thousands of species of flying insects and all of them share similarities in appearance. And all of these thousands of species of insects that are not mosquitoes are being called mosquitoes, if they are entombed in amber. Even I was guilty of that misidentification when I discovered first flying insect in amber and called it a mosquito. That insect kinda resembled a mosquito a bit, but it was a non-biting midge. In my opinion, there are few reasons for the misidentification. First reason we already talked about. When person that is not experienced with Ember sees an flying insect in Ember, and if he saw the movie, his first thought will be a mosquito, because that's what he remembers and that's what he saw. Second reason is that some of these other families of insect really closely resembles a mosquito in appearance, and if person doesn't know exact morphology of mosquito, it's easy to misidentify it by mistake. I will show the morphology of the most important differences later in the video. And third reason of misidentification is malicious. True mosquitoes, the Culicidae culex, is a very rare find in amber and costs up to a thousand dollars for the piece, well, considering current prices, not in the future, as well as depending on different factors, like how complete the insect is and the quality of preservation itself. And other insects like true midges, biting midges, crane flies, fungus gnats that closely resembles a mosquito are very common and cost pennies in comparison to the true mosquito. Hence, some sellers try to sell some common members from the order Zulitomorpha as mosquito to get better compensation for the piece of amber. Alright, now let's learn how to identify a mosquito in amber. As true flies, mosquitoes have one pair of wings with distinct scales on the surface. Their wings are long and narrow, as are the three pairs of long, thin legs. Body length is typically from 3 to 6 mm long, with segmented abdominal section. Antennas also looks a bit hairy. Hairiness differs from species to species, but the most distinctive feature they have, that the rest of insects from this order does not, is elongated proboscis, with which they suck blood. Here is a closer look on the proboscis of the living mosquito. It's always more tricky to identify morphology when it is in amber, but this picture of a true mosquito with the proboscis is clearly visible in it. Now let's take a look at other families of insects that look similar in many aspects, except that they lack the most distinctive feature, the proboscis. 
first is Ceratopogonidae, the biting mage. And in my eye it looks extremely similar to mosquito. Fluffy wings with antennas, same eyes, similar segmented abdomen, main difference are shorter legs and lack of long proboscis. So yep, not a mosquito. Next in line is a phantom mage, the Haboridae. For starters, the name is menacing, right? <laughs> but once again, the main difference is lack of long proboscis. Phantom mages has very different mouth parts, but wings, eyes, legs, fluffy antennas and general body composition is very similar. Next, let's take a look at a crane fly aka the big mosquito. Nope, I'm just kidding, it's not a mosquito. Because you guessed it, they don't have long proboscis. But other than that, once again it does resemble a mosquito, just a bigger version of it. I bet you see the pattern now. If you don't know what exactly to look for, all of these insects can be mistaken as a mosquito for an untrained eye. I think I have made my point already, but I have such an amazing photos from Arthur I just can't not to share them with you. But point will be the same, all, all of them are similar to mosquitoes, but main point is usually no scaled wings and lack of proboscis. And these picked members of order Culicomorpha are the most common to find in amber, hence the most common are misidentified as mosquitoes. Now that we have dealt with misidentification issue, let's look at some mosquito facts, because why not? <laughs> the word mosquito is Spanish and Portuguese word for little fly. There is approximately 3600 known species of mosquitoes, and each species is specializing in different hosts for feeding. Some only feeds on frogs or snakes, other on us humans. When you are bitten by a mosquito, it's usually by the females, because they need protein and iron that's contained in the blood to lay eggs. Mosquitoes when biting can transfer all kinds of diseases, like malaria, yellow fever and many others. By transmitting diseases, mosquitoes cause the deaths of more people than any other animal taxon, over 700,000 a year. There is only one benefit from mosquitoes. In larval stage, they are important food source for all sorts of fishes, dragonfly larvas and other marine predators. The oldest known mosquitoes are known from amber, dating to the late Cretaceous. Three species of Cretaceous mosquitoes are currently known. Priscoculex burmanicus Burmaculex antiquus. These two are known from the Burmese ember from Myanmar, which dates to the earliest part of the Cenomanian stage of the late Cretaceous, around 99 million years ago. Paleoculisis minutus is known from the Canadian ember from Alberta, Canada, which dates to the companion stage of the late Cretaceous, around 69 million years ago and combined with Baltic amber from the Eocene and Dominican amber, there is just 25 fossil species that are recognized. Part of the reasons why mosquitoes are rare in amber is because they are feeding mostly on vertebrates and not attracted to tree raisin where they can get trapped. Inclusion pictures which were on another level quality-wise were provided by Arthur Michalski, if interested in getting genuine inclusions from a trustworthy seller, you will find Arthur's link to the Etsy store in description. And thank you for all the amazing pictures once again. And there you have it. I hope this video will help for identification of true mosquitoes in amber, for personal reasons or just if someone wants to own one. Should be careful identifying himself what he is buying, as well as some history behind these flying insects and some facts. And if you did enjoy the video, consider subscribing to the channel for more amber and fossil related content and smash that like button. It keeps my motivation higher to produce more content. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!